Now, when you go on to do your data, what you want to see is more than one cycle. Like I said, more than one cycle. I'm not going to change the HP right now. Rather, I'm going to sweep across the screen slower, so that as I sweep across, I'm seeing more and more peaks. I was on 0.2, now it's on 0.5 milliseconds per every division. We want to count the time for more than one cycle to get rid of the uncertainty. Remember our problem when it was here, we were wondering what middle, what tick mark it was located. So I'm going to adjust the position of this, try to line it up with the zero. And another common mistake is to count the cycles like this. One, two, three, four, five cycles. No, that's five peaks. Rather, it's one cycle, two cycle, three cycle, four cycles. So we'd write that in the data table. I have four cycles. Now I can measure the time for those four cycles by counting the time divisions. There's one time division, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, point seven. For the 0.5 millisecond setting. So we're going to write down how many time divisions there are, 8.7. Do not count a cycle to here, midway. Some people think they can do that, but you will get very spurious data. Use the peaks instead. We're only going to count integer cycles. Now don't give yourself a headache and set it for something like this. Now go ahead, count these cycles, I dare you. Do it for a comfortable value, like that. Now I'm going to change the HP to um, 2000 hertz. And watch what happens to the measurement. All we did was change the HP knob to 2000. So now I can realign the trace. And it looks like we need a little bit more intensity there. And again, count the number of cycles, count the number of time divisions, record the, um, the seconds per division knob which right now is at 0.5 milliseconds. And you're going to go on, so on, and so forth. As you're taking data, please remember that when it gets uncomfortable to read, you just need to change the seconds per division. It becomes much easier to read. That's probably um, too far, so I'm going to move it one backwards. Okay. Changing the seconds per division knob is not changing the signal. It's just simply changing your view of the signal.